Hey guys, welcome to my closet. Today I am going to do a little declutter with you. I have been trying to go through my makeup and get rid of some of the stuff that is old that I'm never going to use so that I can better use the things that I do have that have not gone bad or, um, or things that I actually will enjoy using. So um, I'm going to declutter some lipsticks, some lip glosses, and some eye products with you today, and then we'll do other products another day. But if you are interested in watching a declutter, stick around. And the last time I did this, I didn't intend to throw away as much as I did, and I was like, oh, I should have videotaped that. So today, I'm not making that mistake. I am going to declutter with you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to need to declutter are my Tarte Little Lip Crayons. I bought these like probably two years ago, but I guess because they're tart they don't have any preservatives and they just smell really really terrible they have a really bad smell they used to smell minty this is such a beautiful color it is called glitzy and that's it but um because of the scent it needs to go and then this one is the same line and it's called sweet this is also a gorgeous pink like a mid-tone pink color it's just so pretty Y'all, if my hands look dead to you, it's because I put on a pair of latex gloves the other day. I know I'm allergic to latex, but I was like, oh, one time's not going to hurt. And I just put on latex gloves and my hands like had like a major reaction. So they're looking really sad right now. Um, this one is discolored. This was the original color of it. I'm going to put it up for you guys. That was the original color and this is the end now. So this is definitely bad. I'm not even going to swatch it for you. It's so disgusting. It's going to go. And then this one was another really pretty one called Frisky that was kind of a, um, uh, a brighter pink, but it's glossy and sheer. So it wasn't like super crazy. That's why I really like these. It's like, I don't want to throw them away. These two don't smell as horrible as that one that was yellow, but and then this last one is Accute, and this one is like a beautiful peach color. So all of these have to go because of that rank scent. And now we're going to move on to my Chanel lip glosses. Y'all, please learn a lesson from me and don't waste your money on buying too much makeup that you're going to end up throwing away. It's just so wasteful. This I got when I was pregnant with my now nine-year-old. <laughs> it's such a pretty color though. Look at that. And it actually does not smell. It's just that I figure that after nine years, it's probably time. Uh, I mean, I haven't used it in probably seven, so that's the other thing. It's not like it's getting used. Um, this was kind of like a sheer glittery color. Check out how beautiful that is. But it just looked sheer on my hand also. I think this is even older. I think I got this before I even had kids. So greater than nine years old. Hasn't been worn in that long either, by the way. It's just been sitting in my makeup collection because it makes me sad to throw away a $36 lip gloss. And then lastly, this one, which is equally as old as the last two, also hasn't been year used in six or seven years. It's like a red Chanel one, another one that I didn't want to throw away because it's so painful to waste a $36 lip gloss, but they're just so old. Um, this one, I actually, is one of those C. Bigelow, like, lip tints from, um, at one time, Bath & Body Works sold these. I don't even know if they still sell them. I found this in a purse I was getting rid of. I haven't worn this in at least five years, so I'm gonna toss that. Um, this one also is, like, 11 years old. Like, I got this when I first finished residency and moved back to San Antonio, which has now been 11 years, but it was the best color. It was Starlet Pink. It was also in an old purse, so I haven't used this in probably a uh, solid 10 years. Um, it was just a really, like, how gross is this that they're still, like, sitting around, even though they haven't been used? So that has to go, but it was a beautiful color. I don't know if Vince Camuto still makes them. Our Nordstrom just started carrying some Vince Camuto stuff. So if you like kind of baby pink lip glosses, this is a beautiful color. I know I loved wearing this, so I highly recommend it if they still make this shade. Great one. And then this I'm going to get rid of, this red, it's kind of like a bright red ColourPop gloss. And I just, I don't wear colors like this very much, so this just has to go. It's just like a cherry red lip gloss. Um, I just don't think I'll get any use out of that. So that's only like a year old. So I might give that to somebody who, I don't even think I've ever used it, who might want it. And then moving, that's it for this drawer. Let's move on to my lipstick drawer. Let me adjust my camera for you guys. Okay, so 
I'm embarrassed to show you my lipstick drawer because who in their right minds needs this amount of lipstick? No one. I have some more Tarte lipsticks that are probably bad, judging by the fact, yep, they have that same weird smell. This one is really pretty. It's called Angel. I think it probably needs to go. Look how pretty that is. Don't waste your money, guys. Use the stuff you have. This is so silly to be wasting money like this. This one was called Plummy Rose. It smells bad, too. Just a really nice mid-tone rose color. I think all the tart things are just going to have to go. And then this is Tulip. I got this because I just thought that it was a beautiful pink shade right there. It's Tulip. I hope you guys can see them. Did I just like, I hope you guys could see the other two shades. And then lastly, I have this shade, which is watermelon, a nice bright fuchsia orange. Well, kind of a, yeah, a pinky orange, kind of a fuchsia orange that I am clearly never gonna wear. I don't know why I even bought it. It actually doesn't even smell bad, but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear that color. Um, I also, the other day, took out two colors out of this drawer that I'm going to show you that I wanted to declutter because they were just not good colors. One of them was this color pop. It's just a really milky pink and it is called Stone Fox and it's just, it is not a good color for me. Like on my face, it just looks super milky. It just does not work. And then this one is another color puff color that I'm gonna throw away. It's called On a Stick and it's the blotted lip. What actually happened with this one was I got it and it like had all this weird funky black. Do you guys see that? Let's see if the camera will focus. Focus. There. See that funky black on the side? And I was grossed out. So I called ColourPop and I asked them to send me a new one. So I'm getting rid of this if you want to see a swatch of it. This is it. It's just like a matte um, lip color that gives you that blotted look. And then I also had a Milani lipstick that I wanted to get rid of, which I think, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. So this is called Pink Frost, and I love the Milani lipsticks because they smell so good, but I'm not sure what possessed me to buy this because it's like a bright, frosty pink. Like, maybe I should keep that for an 80s costume, or maybe not. So that needs to go. And then I tried on this color the other night that was one of those from the nude, the Kate Nude collection, the Kate Moss Nude collection from Rimmel. The Rimmel lipsticks have a funny smell. This looks so super pretty in the tube, but it didn't look that amazing on my face. Um, it's also kind of got that milky pink vibe on me and it just didn't look right. So I'm going to get rid of that color. And then moving on to my, um, there's one more thing I'm going to get rid of, which is this Milani Rose Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatment. This was supposed to, it's called Repairing Primrose and I got it because I thought it would be a nice lip oil. Um, and especially nice because it smelled like roses, but it just, it just did not work. It was just not a great lip oil and I didn't feel like it treated my lips and I didn't feel like it helped moisturize my lips. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then moving on up to the next drawer, I have a bunch, let me adjust my camera so you can see in this drawer. This has got some eyeliners and some eyeshadows. And I want to get rid of a lot of these color tattoos. I bought these like probably five years ago and they're all dried out. I have this white color called Too Cool. I'll just swatch it for you guys on my hand. It's like totally dried out. It's just a pearly white. And then I'm going to get rid of this silvery color right here called Silver Strike. Let's see here. It's like really cool silver. 
it doesn't have like much purple in it it's just straight up silver and then I'm going to get rid of this gold color that is a really yellowy gold it's called um, bold gold and um, it's also dried out this color I actually really liked and it was called Bad to the Bronze. If you guys want to make a really, really easy smoky eye, get one of these color tattoos, but just get one. Like don't get every color like I did because they just dry out. Um, and just put this all over your lid and with your finger and it just does and like blend it out into your crease and it's like the most simple ever um, single eyeshadow, easy smoky eye great color to do that with. Another great color to do that with is the other one that I loved, which is uh, Toughest Taupe. It's just a matte taupe. It doesn't have any shimmer. But again, if you put, let me show it to you guys by opening it. If you just put this color all on your lid and rub it and blend it out into the crease, um, it's like a single shadow, super duper easy smoky eye. It will make an easy smoky eye look. But that one's dried out, so it's got to go. I also have this shade in kind of this pinkish color. Um, it's called, called Inked in Pink. So pretty, but as you can see, it is dried out. And then I have this one, which is called uh, Barely Branded, which I used so much back in the day that I actually um, hit, hit pan. And um, this is a great, I use it like acorn, just put it on my finger, rub it all over my lids, out the door. Like just brightens up your eyes and your inner corners so nicely. So I replaced this. I bought a new one since this one is dried out. And that's it for that drawer. Okie dokie. On to my palette drawer. There are only two palettes that I know I want to get rid of um, that I just don't use. And one of them is this Deuce palette. By Juvia's Place. I don't know why. I really like loved the way these colors looked when I saw them online. I thought they looked amazing, and for some reason, they are just they just don't work for me. Like this is just I don't know. It's such a pretty palette, but for whatever reason, I just don't ever reach for it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who will use it. And then my Natural Love palette, which I just thought was the worst palette ever. I hated it and it makes me afraid to buy any more Too Faced palettes ever because it was just so bad. It looked so beautiful. It looked so perfect. I thought it was going to be the like palette that I used every day of my life, but instead I like it pained me to use it because all the colors looked so bad by the end of the day. They just like ran into each other and blended into each other. So I'm going to pass this on to somebody that like just doesn't care about eyeshadow as much as I do and like maybe you know I feel like if I had gotten this palette like 10 years ago or 15 years ago before I had tried like every eyeshadow brand out there and really could tell a significant difference between different eyeshadows this would have been a, a you know a palette that I really appreciated and used a lot but now that there are palettes like Fizzy Art on the market and, you know, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills and just really, really high quality palettes, I don't have patience for eyeshadows like this that just look muddy by the end of the day. So I think somebody, this is a beautiful palette. I think somebody that's not like as makeup geeky as I am um, will appreciate this palette. So I'm going to pass it on. Okay. Okay, moving on to my um, kind of chapstick drawer um this baby lips I never ever use it's just kind of a sheer pink but it's just not something I ever reach for so I'm going to get rid of that um these EOS lip balms you guys they go bad so they're organic and when they start to have a funny smell it means it's time to throw them away and this one has a funny smell so it's going let me see if this one has a funny smell this one's okay still. It smells good. And let's see this one. This is the clear. This one smells good still. So these two are still good. 
six, a little note from a doctor to any of you guys. When you guys get colds, this is why I have these black chapsticks. When you get colds and you're blowing your nose a bunch and your nose gets like so raw, it's like the most painful thing in the world. I just take this black chapstick and I put it all over my nose and it prevents that painful, painful situation from happening when you have a cold. I know it's the summer, but if anybody gets a summer cold, invest in a black chapstick for your nose to moisturize your nose. Can't rave about it enough. So that's why I have all of these in here. They're so good for that purpose. So guys, that wraps up my declutter for today. I hope that gave you a little bit of satisfaction getting rid of some stuff that I never ever use. Um, I hope it inspires you also to declutter your collection so that you can actually use the stuff that you have and that's good. And that's all for now. I will see you guys next week. Bye.